Hi everyone, this is Edmund with a quick tutorial on how to set up the floating social bar plugin. If you have any questions, you can contact me at edmund at imdishes.com. So in order to set up the floating social bar, we got to look for it under the plugins and then add new section. Under the search field, just type in floating social bar and then click on search plugins. So once you're here, you'll see that uh, my floating social bar has been installed. So all I got to do is just click the install now button, which is below the floating social bar and then click on activate to make sure that the plugin has been activated. So once it's properly installed, and activate it you can just go to the install plugins section and you'll see that floating social bar appear here and then we can go to the settings so here you will be able to select the social services that you want to appear on your social bar so I'll show you how it looks like so let's say if I go to my official website again so this is how the floating social bar looks like okay the light the tweet and the Google Plus as you can see here so let's say if you want to add in LinkedIn and Pinterest into the social bar all you got to do just drag the icon and just put it here and once you're done you can just click on save settings and if you refresh your website you'll see that the LinkedIn button along with the pin it button has been added to it and of course if you want to change the arrangement you can just click on the icon and then just drag it accordingly so let's say if I want Twitter to appear at the start followed by Facebook LinkedIn Google Plus and then Pinterest once I've changed the alignment I can just click on save settings and then just refresh it so you'll be able to see that the order of the social buttons has changed let's say if you want to remove LinkedIn and Pinterest from your social bar or you could do just drag it back here okay I'll just change back the order that I prefer Facebook Twitter followed by Google Plus and then just click on save settings and then just refresh it again it will go back to the original setting itself so under the social bar label you can either type in anything that you want here so in this case I prefer to leave it as it is let's say if you want to want people to share this article you can type in share this article or share this post for example okay you can just click on save settings and then just uh, refresh it you'll see that share this post will appear here if you want to remove it same thing here you can just delete it and then click on save settings and then if you refresh it'll be removed as well okay here you will be able to select where you want the social bar to appear if you want it to appear in your posts and pages you can just tick this two buttons here if you want it to appear in your media files you can tick this button as well so normally I just select the posts and pages so let's say if you want it to be in post only you can uncheck this and then click on save settings and you refresh it you'll see that the social bar has disappeared because I'm using a static page okay, and if you go to the post the social bar will be appearing in the post so just check check it again so here you can enter your Twitter username so that when the visitors retweet your post your username will be there so this one the interval to update stats so just leave it the default and then the pictures image fallback okay, this one I'll just leave it as it is I normally don't use this and uh, you can make the social bar static meaning that uh, once you scroll down you'll not be able to see it okay if you if you don't want it to be static you can uncheck it and then click on save settings and then you can just refresh it so you'll see that the social bar moves along with your page as well so the social bar is actually here okay in this case I'm my team is designed in this manner whereby the, the top pages will move along with the post itself so which is why you can't see the social bar so if you want to see the social bar this is a fantastic website that has installed it on their website if you scroll down so you'll see that the social bar moves along with the post that means that it's floating so in this case I prefer to leave it as static so just check this and then just click on save settings so if I refresh it you'll see that the social bar is static it doesn't move along with the post and then if you scroll down again here you can either select the position of the static bar you can either have it below the content and just click save settings okay I'll show you how it's like so you see that the, the bar on top is, is gone it has been shifted all the way to the bottom you can see here and then if you want it to appear on the above and below content you can just click on it and just click on save settings and then refresh it so you'll see that the bar is at the bottom and then if you scroll up the bar is at the top as well so I'll just leave it as above content and just click on save settings so I'll just check this so that it will not load when hovering over the social bar for the social light this one you can uncheck it it's totally up to you okay so that's how simple it is when it comes to setting this floating social bar which is why I really love this um, social bar because it adds a lot of social element to my website without any complicated adjustments to it okay so it's a very simple plugin to use I really encourage that you check this plugin out and of course if you have any questions with regards to this floating social bar you can actually visit this wpbeginner.com slash floating dash social dash bar slash they're actually the creator of this social media plugin so if you have any questions or anything that you're not sure with you can actually check out this web page so this one will share with you in greater detail on how to modify the plugin if you want to and where you can actually get support for this plugin as well so with that I've come to the end of this floating social bar plugin can walk through. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at admin.imdishes.com and I'll be glad to help you out. Thank you for listening and goodbye. See ya!